about when do we actually start training. When you have a baby, are you not starting from the first day you get that baby, you're handling the baby, you're, you're teaching the baby to sleep alone, you're teaching the baby to play patty cake and peekaboo and all those things. That's learning, isn't it? You're taking the baby out and you're seeing other people. You're teaching the baby about life. You put the baby in a swing so you can get something done and the baby learns not to run out the door just because somebody comes into your home. The baby learns to entertain itself while you visit with company. The baby learns to sit in a high chair and mush in the stuff. It's not quite ready to go to a five-star restaurant, but that's where you start. You take them to fast food to teach them manners when they go out, so that when you do go into a five-star restaurant, your child can sit in a chair and act appropriate. Unfortunately, we are raising kids the same way we raise the dog. We want them to play all the time. They already know how to play. So training, I call it conditioning, I call it imprinting. It's teaching them about the world. By having the dog on a longer line, no matter what's go oh, look at the little doggy, hi little doggy. She won't tell you now, Lee. She knows this. So what's an appropriate line? Well, that depends on where you're at. I train this dog on a 50-foot line. Good girl, Haiti. I want this dog to be attentive to me. Distance. Now, my big shepherd, I got him. It was that really icy year. Out in our driveway, we had about 10 feet of gravel. The rest of it was slick ice. I had a 50-foot line on that dog, and I could walk that 10 feet. He'd run out that way, and I'd go the other 10 feet this way, and he'd run that way. He's running 100 and some feet. See? The rule I have for long lines when you first start teaching is I want about 5 feet longer than what you want that dog to be away from you. So you teach the dog where it's to have its fun. You become the center of this dog's world. Now, have any of you messed with horses? Okay. What do you use to teach a horse to bend and to be compliant? A lunch line, a round pen. What do you do? Stand in the middle of it with a big long line, 32 feet long, and you have that horse go around the outside of that pen or around the end of that lunge line, you snap that line, they go the opposite direction, whoa, easy. You have control at a distance. This is horse training for dogs. That is a lunge line. So when Carolyn moves and she says, come on. Now we change the length of the line. Now shorten your line, Carolyn. Easy. Easy. This dog's got phenomenal attitude. Came from California. They started her four or five months old in Schutzen work, which was absolutely way too young. And then they left they left her play with the four-year-old daughter. What do you think happened to her? At six months old, to be turned loose with a child after you've been given permission to bite. That's playing tug and getting them amped up with no off switch. Don't get that pained look in your face. This is a child that has not been taught to be calm. It's been concentrated on performance. This dog's never been abused. This dog lost her home, flew on a plane, came here. She's happy as can be. Now, we teach the dog to go fast. Now, go the opposite direction. Don't try to turn into it. There you go. Okay, go fast. 
Go slow. She's not pretty on the lead yet. Okay, pick it up to normal. So until that dog is paying more attention to you than it is to itself, you can't go out and do anything with it. It's useless. This dog isn't trained. This dog is conditioned to be ready to be trained. And halt. So this dog knows, come on, easy, wait. All right, end of story. Now, what we're going to do today is give everybody a chance to walk this dog. Now, you can see she's a good dog. All right. Ready? Easy. Come on, easy weight. Look at the tight lead. All right off the bat. Wait with me. Did you hear that? Wait. So you're saying words with me is not in her vocabulary. Come on, easy, easy wait. Good way. Come on. No pranks. Quit looking at her. Good girl. There. Wait. Shorten your lead then. Wait. There. Good. Wait. Touch her on the head. Forward. Come on. Okay, wait, drop the leaf. Bye, baby. Okay, hold on. Come on. Easy. Come on. Wait. Do you want to work for me? No. Pick this dog's lead up and give her something. She needs to know you're do she's doing it right, wrong. Okay. Okay. Because she keeps poking at you, waiting for you to tell her whether she's doing good or bad. She's yeah. getting worse because you're not saying, you're not giving her any lead on it. Got it? Got it. Good dog. Good girl. Tell her, come on, come on. She's going to like you better than me. Come on. Good girl. Good. Come on. Now go the other way. There you go. Don't worry about a pattern. There you go. Easy. Come on. Good job. Good girl. Wait. Step on the line. Wait. Oh, good what a good job. Good girl. Come on. Good girl. Your voice is Come wonderful, on. but you got to give her a paycheck. Good job. Good Quit looking at her. If that leads loose, she's good with you. Time. All right. Come on. Good dog. Wait. Now, envision, good if wait. you will, this dog out herding sheep. Was what she's doing, was what she was just doing, would that work out in the field with sheep? Yeah. Would it work on an agility field? Yeah. Would it work on an obedience field? Yeah. Would it work as a service dog? Yeah. Would it work as a protection dog? Yeah. Would it work as a pet chasing a ball for a kid? Yeah. Is she calm when she stops? Yeah. Is she prime? candidate for now starting some training. Now because they started her all amped up, we have really done very little with her because the emphasis was to be on manners and relationship. Would you say we've got that? Yes. Okay, Kathy, ready? Easy. Maybe? Easy. Easy. Now you remember it was a child that used to play with this dog. So her perception of kids is not that necessarily of respect. They're play toys, which is another foolish thing people do. Okay, handle the terrain. But that means I need to get up. No, you're fine. Whoop, don't get Mike, there you go. Haiti, you be easy. That's it. You better be easy. Easy. You can shorten it up just a shade. Easy. Tell her she's good. There you go. Now, Raina can work her, not because Raina's earned it, because I said so. So when they have respect, oh, good dog. 
Easy. There you go. That's teaching a child to interact with a dog. This makes a kid's dog. A good dog is respectful of the youngest, oldest, weakest, most limited member of a family. I don't care how many people are in your family, and I don't care what that dog's job is, it better be respectful of your kids and the rest of your family when it's finally off duty. Because she's been comfortable on the long line, dragging the line, just drop it. Dragging the line, yeah. she's comfortable too. Oh, this is your off leash healing, isn't it? Don't worry about healing, worry about the dog liking you. Nice work. Good, easy. Okay, now you pick up the lead, and you're going to work her like a worker. Now, if we wanted her to go into a speedier sport than service dog, she can wear a different hat. She can do obedience. She can do agility. She can do rally. She can do, that's it, fly ball. She can do anything she wants. Herding. That's all. <laughs> okay, you don't need it to that level at this point. She would have to do if she was being a service dog. Uh, uh, nice work. Yeah. Now there's very few people in here that can work at that speed. So when you yeah. go to a training class and that's your training, yeah. how do you go home and live with it? When your training is confirmation, how do you go home and live with it? Nice work. When your dog acts like this, you can walk slow and limp. Okay, you're healed. You can fall down. Ready? Wait. Teach her how to be. Easy. Wait. You wait. You wait. Good. Easy. Oh, for a service dog Easy. that would stop. Easy. When wait. you fall, you need to wait. Good, easy. Good, easy. Now, she's wait. never done that before. No. Good so good. this is really took her by surprise. This is where you start the first time. Do not teach that dog any other way. That's what happens when you start to train a puppy. It sees you in too many other things. Easy. Hey! Easy. Wait. Good. Good, wait. Better that time. Good, easy. Third time. Good. Third Easy. successful Good. repetition, you got the Good. start of what you want. Easy. Good. She's not ready. <laughs> She's got to see yeah. you do all the things you're going to do. She should not participate. Yeah. 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 Ready? How does anybody Wait. do that? Good. Good. Oh, no. Good. It makes me hurt okay. just to look at it. <laughs> Easy. Good. Easy. Wait. She's blown weight. That's it. Just ask Carly. <laughs> Carolyn, are you able to put I'm fine. Weight on okay, now at this point, you use that dog to get up. That was my question. Mobility dog. Can you put your weight on the Ready to fall again? Oh, here. Easy. Hey, easy. Knock it off. You wait. Good, easy, good, wait. You wait. Good, easy. Start putting weight good on wait. that dog. Good, wait. It doesn't matter where. Good, good. It just matters she's got to hold steady so that if you do fall, good. that dog is there where you need it. Okay, one more time. Z does that. I slipped on the ice. Z will come right over, stand there while he do. Stand right there while you, you know, you. You can't. Easy. Good girl. Wait. There she did it. Good, easy. Good, wait. Good, wait. Good, easy. Good, wait. Good job. Good. 